Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the May release, which is the Patch Tuesday or the May 2023 update. The update that includes all the optional features from the last month's C release, and along with that, some more security improvements to the Windows 11 operating system. In this video, we're gonna talk about briefly what is new, what is fixed, and if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So so let's begin with the video. First of all, inside the settings app, if you go to Windows Update, you'll notice this new option, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, be among the first to get the latest on security updates, fixes, improvements as they roll out. And you can turn this on. And of course, Microsoft will prioritize your device to get the latest non-security updates and enhancements when they're available for your device. For managed devices, the toggle is disabled by default. Of course, as I've said, this update includes security improvements. And if you want to see an in-depth view or a list of security improvements that were added in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Also other improvements, this update affects the kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection security feature. The update adds more drivers to the database of drivers that are not compatible with it. A device uses this database when you enable the security feature in the Windows security UI and it loads the drivers. And also this update addresses a race condition in Windows local administrator password solution. The local security authority subsystem service might stop responding. This occurs when the system processes multiple local account operations at the same time. The access violation error code is UXC605. And of course, regarding the optional features from last month, we can talk about some more animations regarding the widget section. So Microsoft added more animations and improved the existing ones. So now you should encounter certain animations for certain regions and weathers. I think this is pretty nice. Of course, the list is longer with the optional updates from last month, but you can check out the article below if you want to see the full list. And also in this update, as always, we're getting the Windows 11 Services Stack update, which ensures that you have a robust and reliable Services Stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. We're closing in to the release of the Moment 3 update, so it should be pretty interesting in the following month or so if we are getting the Moment 3 update. If you want to be the first ones who find out about that, make sure to follow my channel because I'm going to make sure to post a video as soon as that update is available. So this is the video for today. For more information and additional things, you can check out the article below as I've said. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.